open up. You open up. Hit you one baby and my. A subject that people don't like talking about, money. Um, I don't mind it. Um, it's not something things cost what they cost and it is what it is. So what I want to cover in this video is how much did it cost us to do basically this. So what it were before is a separate kitchen, dining room, window with a radiator, back door over there, so we need a new window. We had a door on there, which we had made into an opening, um, and then that reconfigured. Um, what I want to cover in this video is not necessarily how much the kitchen cost, um, but how much did it cost us to get the tradesmen in? Um, the builders, the plasterers, the plumbers, the electrician, um, and basically cover them off because these are, or this is a subject that I I wanted to know before we did it. I didn't have the foggiest how much um, removing a structural wall would cost, how much it would be for calculations, how much for building control, how much was it to fit down lights, how much was it to refigure the um, electrical circuits and do the plumbing and take walls out and all these things I didn't have a clue how much it was costing it was a real ballpark um, now having the Instagram platform um, which I hope you're all following new build underscore DIY underscore journey go and uh, head over there um, I asked the question um, and I got some quite good um, responses and quite accurate responses so because it's something I want to know I'm sure there's others out there that want to know. Um, be it for themselves, be it they're just nosy, so what? Let's, um, so what I want to do with this video, go through it, talk you through each um, step uh, that we did and uh, how much it ultimately cost us to do it. Open up. So first things first, building work. So it was the key driver to the whole project. Excuse the bit of paper, that's my notes for how much things cost. So, as I explained a bit earlier in the, um, the video and on other videos, where the edge of the breakfast bar was a supporting wall for upstairs. So that wall um, needed to come down. It was breeze block um, and it supports the joists that run across there because they actually join there. Um, so what we needed to do, remove this wall, put an RSJ in steel. Uh, that's mounted on some pad stones there and over there, I think, um, uh, where the pad stones are over there, I think. Um, to And to get to that point, we needed to have um, calculations done by a structural engineer to what size steel needs to be put there. Now. The big thing for me is that I didn't want the RSJ on show. Um, and by on show, I don't mean physically seeing the metalwork, but I didn't want the boxing around. I wanted it to feel as though it's one big room, which I think you'll agree it does. Um, so what that meant is they had to cut into the joists and uh, while still supporting them and um, sort of hide the, the RSJ and put hangers on it so the joists sit on the hangers. Um, at the same height as the RSJ. So I think that, that was quite a big thing for me. Um, so with that, we had the steel cost, the pad stones, the calculations, um, and I think that was it. And then obviously labor. Um, then as part of the building work, we also needed these French doors putting in. So there was a window um, there was a radiator below, but we'll cover that in a bit. So we had the window taken out, the bricks on the outside removed and the stone removed. Um, and then they was reused for where the back door was used. So material wise, it was just a few breeze blocks because, so if we talk about this window now, there was the back door. Now we kept the openings the same size there and there. 
and um, we he built it up on in breeze block on the inside, and then on the outside when the door was removed, used the stonework, and the they were like um, I forgot what they call them, but like a border of uh, rustic stone similar to that wall outside under the window. Reused it here, so you will never tell outside and out um, that some works have taken place because it's the original stone, original brick that's being reused there. And that pretty much concludes the building work for in here. Um, something else the builders did while they were there, which were the first days, they were uh, coving all around here, all the way around. Um, they removed that and uh, I was left with removing the utility room. The opening in there, it was a bit of a combined effort. Excuse the cream door as well, they're getting changed to oak soon. Um, but I removed the frames. Actually, no, I did everything. I removed the frames, uh, built this box section so it was in line with that. Um, and then it was left for that for the plasterers. And then the second to last job for the builders was to remove a door that was there. Now all this consisted of was stud work. Um, and that's all they did actually, the stud work. So yeah, the builders just put the, the woodwork in to hide that door and, and that's about it for that. So the last job the builders did was in the hallway. So we'll, we'll go in there. Which is here, excuse the mess, we're still on with it. Very close. Um, so the last job was this opening. That was a single door about, sort of in line with the garage door there, up to this side. So we had this made wider. Few calculations for this, but ultimately it was just a double lintel given the width, because it's quite wide. So two lintels up there to create that opening. And uh, yeah. That sort of covers off the builders. So I'll run through how much each thing cost and uh, it's not as bad as you think. So I'll do that now. So you'll have to excuse me, I can't remember each figure um, all at once and I'll try and put them on the screen as we go through them. So, building work, starting with the steel and pad stones. So, as we said earlier, the bits that go up there to support the house, 120 pound, cheap isn't it? Um, to go with that was the timber and hangers. So, to hold the joists, as we explained earlier, 50 pounds. The building regs, £180, which includes the windows as well. So we had to have a building control come out, inspect the work, make sure it's satisfactory. Um, calculations, £70. So that sort of covers opening the wall up. Uh, let me do a quick calculation. So, so to remove the wall, minus labour, we're talking about £420. Pretty cheap. And it took them about a day. Um, so, yeah. Um, but moving on to the windows. Um, so, they charged us. They bought, supplied the window, that window, and then French doors. So, the doors themselves, £650. The window, £300. Again, quite happy with that. Um, you do need building regs for windows for a set, I think it's 50, if it's more than 50% of the glass being changed, you need building regs. Um, and then the stud work for there come to a total of 50 pound. That's it. Um, and then we move on to the lintels to open up that. So the two lintels were up there, came to a grand total of 50 pounds. Then, this four days labour. So four days labour, I was charged £1,500 for two men. Again, I don't begrudge anyone earning a living, so I feel uh, yeah, £750 each for four days work. I don't think that's bad. Um, you, you've obviously, they're self-employed, they've got their own national insurance to pay, they've got their own sick pay, their own holidays and all that, so I'm quite happy with that. So 
in total for the building work, it came to £2,970. So if we just recap, that's to remove a structural wall, remove a wall there, put the doors in, brick up the back door, put a window in, build that stud work up, and then create the opening in the hallway. So I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty good price. Um, I was very happy with the builders to the point where I'm actually getting them back to do a bit more work. Um, I know this is DIY channel. Uh, some things, until I've had a go once, I don't fancy having to go at the sort of major stuff. And the next job I've got is replacing the lintel above one of the garage doors. So um, I'm gonna leave it to them. Again, I'll pop some pictures in now of the work they did and the jawings, um, but the brickwork outside is fantastic. Now that's pretty much sort of dry. You would never know they were back door there and they weren't French doors always there. So, so yeah, overall, very happy with the building work. So, yeah, it looks great. We're loving it. Much better layout and, uh, yeah, looks fantastic. So, the next one will be, let's have a look on my list, plumbing. So, of course, we've had, well, there was a sink in there before, but all the plumbing needed sorting out, it was a right mess. We... The sink, um, where was the sink? The sink was over here before, so that's moved over there. So a bit of plumbing needed there. We had the kick space heater put in. There were no radiator or heater on here before, so all the radiator plumbing pipes needed sort of cutting into the existing central heating and uh, and put to there. And then obviously, as I explained earlier, we had a radiator there, so we've had that moved to there. Um, and that, again, I didn't think were too bad. £450. I supplied the materials though. So, I bought that radiator and I bought that radiator. They both knew from Screwfix, wouldn't recommend um, go for a decent brand. Uh, I had a nightmare, but Screwfix were great about it. So, so yeah, and he did move that one uh, slightly. Uh, to make it central between the unit and the corner of this wall on my request. Um, I don't think he charged me for that, so that's that. That radiator, I think, was £60. This one, about 25 or 30 Yeah, um, that's why they're probably rubbish. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. We've done it now. Um, but the plumber, um, I asked before if he could contact me um, to do some further works because we wanted to replace the radiators throughout the house uh, and the TRVs and the elbows. They were just plastic. I'll try and put a photo in of them before now. Um, very poor. So we wanted all them replacing. So in total, we've not done the bathrooms because they'll get done as part of the bathroom job, um, but we had 11 radiators replaced. The radiators come to a total of 600 pound, um, but then there was the fitting. Uh, the, the plumber I really liked, thought it was, it was quite helpful, um, and he charged us 660 pound um, to replace the whole ra the radiators throughout the house. So 11 in total, 60 pound a radiator. I don't know if that's competitive, um, but he did say you normally charges 80 pound a radiator. Now that's fine. Uh, 60 pound I'm quite happy with. What I'm not happy with and something I'm beginning to realize with, I won't say all tradesmen because I'm sure there's brilliant ones out there. Um, but from my experience on this job is um, well, I'll give you a bit of the story. Um, the boiler, ever since having the new radiators on, we're losing pressure. Now, our boiler runs about 
1.8 bar of pressure. Um, and in a two week period, it lost a bar in total, which is, I think, quite a lot. And um, so as we've got service plan for the boiler, I thought we would, um, I'd get them out. Anyway, for, I went to the top floor to two of the new radiators to find leaked water all the way down side of them and uh, made a bit of a mess on the carpet. So I checked the blanking plates, every single one on every single new radiator was loose. All of a sudden, we've, not, we've stopped losing pressure because I've tightened them all up. Um, now, they have O-rings, they're not supposed to be fully really tight, but there was barely just past finger tight. And it's annoying because I've had to run round tighten everything up and sort of finish the job when I've paid £60 per radiator, £660 uh, for me to have to finish the job. Um, now, these radiators here, this one and the one in there, doesn't come under the additional works, it comes under sort of the kitchen works. Um, now, these two leak a little bit. Now, they've sort of sealed themselves. Um, I presume it's because there's a bit less pressure in as well because um, I've just knocked it down a bit but now I'm having difficulty getting the plumber back um, it was off with an operation and so that leaks that leaks uh, just a tiny bit but it's just frustrating you pay a lot of money you should expect it to be right don't get me wrong some things do go wrong and now I'm quite open minded but at least come back and fix your mistake so yeah bit of a sore subject but the total for the plumbing work, £1,110 as part of this project. So then, moving on to the plasterers. They did a great job, really impressed with them. Um, they basically just re-skimmed this whole room and then also where the builders have been in there, re-skimmed that wall and on the other side. Um, so here, that light switch was over here and there's a socket and a light switch on that side. Um, they, the electrician rejigged um, the sockets and lights and made a right mess. Uh, I think I've got a photo, so I'll pop. So just while you're watching this uh, photo, the plastering came to 800 pound, I forgot to say. In somewhere, um, yeah, what a shambles. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the electrician, which if you're over on Instagram will know already. Um, cocky, came in all guns blazing, talked the talk, found out the insulation wasn't compliant. Just from a bit of research, basic research, uh, I won't go into it, but I had to get him back to sort it. Um, given the mess he made when he was running the cables in there, in here weren't bad because it was getting plastered, but in there we weren't planning on having it plastered bar the, the bits that needed it. Um, he come back and he's resolved it. It works, but I've still got to, when we do the downstairs toilet, rerun the cables uh, because he forgot that there was a downstairs toilet in between, even though he said it'd be an easy clean job. So now we've got cables clipped outside, which I hate. Uh, and I've got to sort it. So, yeah, not a fan of the electrician, but to talk money, forget about what he did, what he didn't do. Um, so the kitchen needed some reconfiguring. We had three sockets there. Um, we've obviously got the new hob. Um, that's fed from, they, they're sort of existing, although they've moved, they were existing, and then a bit of a reconfigure in there. Now, the electrician charged £755 for that work. Um, there was three of them, sort of one apprentice, one young lad, and him. Um, £755, I think it was, yeah, and for a non-compliant installation, but it's done. He, sort of, he put these on their own circuit. The appliances are now on their own circuit, which was sort of the, the um, remedial work that he needed to come back and do. Um, but in that price, down lights were not included. So, in total, we've had uh, 10 down lights in there, 
two in there. Oh, an under cupboard lighting, which I forgot about. And then we had some outside lights put, up and down lights on either side, and a flood light. Now, normally I'd do that myself. Never recommend doing electrical work yourself unless you know um, that sort of basic electrics. Um, it can be dangerous, so yeah, anyway, going back to it. While the uh, plaster were in a mess and we needed to plaster it, it was just easier to let him do it, um, as well as putting a socket behind the telly. Um, and also while he was here, I asked him to put, you can just see it, a socket there for our electric fake log burner when we get it and for the telly up there. Um, so for this additional work, he charged 890 pound inclusive of the lights. Now, I can buy them lights at 15 pound each. Uh, how many did we have? 12, so 150, 180 quid. Um, he charged 40 pound per one to fit, which I think is very excessive. But again, it's one of them, you, you've got time scales, things need doing. I didn't have the time to do it, so yeah, anyway. Um, so in total, the electrician charged us, ooh, 900 about £1,645, a lot of money for two days work for three people, um, but it's probably the going rate, I think. I'm not um, I'm not in the trade, so I don't know what they charge, um, but yeah, again, quite happy with it, but um, pricey for someone who is not competent, is all we'll say, but because he's registered, he can sign it off. Very sore subject. Um, and yeah, so all in all, we are happy with it. Um, price wise, very happy with it. Um, I hope it's helped um, and I'll, I'll give you the, actually we need to go back, I need to give you the total figure. So for all the building work, plumbing, plastering, electrical work for our kitchen and the hallway, came to 6525, £6,525. I think we got quite a lot done for the money. Um, I think the building work was the better value for money. Um, the plastering I didn't think were bad. Plumbing and electrical work, yeah, it's a skill, but I do think it was pricey, um, especially for substandard work. If it was top notch and I had nothing to go back to, then I'd be more happy to pay it, but yeah. So six and a half thousand, to knock down a structural wall, French doors, window, plaster, plumb, electrical work. Um, yeah, so I hope it's helped. Um, the It's one of them things you don't like to talk about, but we do have to pay it, as I said earlier. Um, I'm quite happy to share, I don't mind. I've not obviously told you how much the kitchen cost. That, that definitely weren't six and a half thousand. Um, but we were reaching a, a standard that we wanted with that. So uh, I may cover it in a later video, but for the minute, uh, I just wanted to cover the building work. It's one of the questions I got asked a lot, and I still do, um, basically, just, just for the simple things like removing a structural wall, um, adding French doors and, and the such like. So I hope it's helped. A bit of a quick video, and um, be sure to go and check out Instagram, uh, subscribe, and uh, yeah. I'll uh, hopefully got more videos in the future. Stay tuned for the stairs. Um, complete switch on that. So uh, I'll cover that in the next video. So um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all later. Cheers.